Hi everyone, in this video we're given these parametric equations and we have to write it in rectangular form. So let's go ahead and work through this very carefully. This is a really interesting uh, problem. So whenever you have uh, parametric equations with secants and tangents or sines and cosines or sinches and cosinches, usually a good idea is to solve for the function itself. So to solve, in this case, for the trig function. So let's go ahead and solve each of these for the trig function. So to solve the first one, we'll start by subtracting uh, for h. That'll leave us with x minus h equals a times the secant of theta. And we're almost there. Now we'll just go ahead and divide by a. And of course, we'll assume that a is not 0, so there's nothing funky uh, going on. So I'm going to write it backwards now. I'm going to write it like this. Secant theta is equal to x minus h over a. Okay, same thing over here. We'll subtract k from both sides, so minus k minus k. That'll leave us with y minus k, and this is equal to b times the tangent of theta. Good stuff. As before, we'll divide by b, again assuming that b is not zero, otherwise this would be a silly problem. <laughs> so the tangent of theta is equal to y minus k over b. Okay, so now what you do is you use a trig identity. So the one I remember is that uh, 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to secant squared theta. So 1 plus tan squared is secant squared. You can rewrite this in a, in a better way that will help us do the problem. Um, and that would be to subtract tan squared from both sides. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's write it like this. Secant squared theta minus tan squared theta. Right, so we're basically subtracting the tan squared, so moving it over to the right-hand side, equals 1. And now this is where the magic happens. You see, because secant of theta is x minus h over a. So this becomes x minus h over a, and the whole thing is squared, right? And then same thing here, tangent of theta is y minus k over b. So we have y minus k over b, and the whole thing is squared, right? And that's equal to one. So now the magic happens. So this will be x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared, and this is equal to 1. So this is the equation of a hyperbola, right? Really, really nice problem. So basically, the original question gave us the parametric equations for a hyperbola, and we just had to write them in the rectangular form. So kind of a nice problem. I hope this video has been helpful in some way. Good luck and take care.